What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the final Players Cup 2 qualifier practice session. Today I'm going to be continuing my, I guess, practicing session thing? <laughs> I don't know what to call it, my climb, my practice, practice, I'm going to say practice a lot, uh, with this team that I'm going to be using in Players Cup. Uh, and if you don't know, Players Cup 2 starts tonight, the night this video goes up. So if you guys want to watch me uh, actually play in the Players Cup live, go ahead, click the link in the description to get to my Twitch channel. Go ahead and follow me there. I'll be going live at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I'll be staying live until like midnight. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys want to do me a favor, do me a favor, leave a like. I can't even speak today. Leave a like in the video. Uh, every like is appreciated. Everything helps me out with growing the channel. And I want you to answer the comment question today. What are you bringing to Players Cup? What are you bringing to Players Cup as like your, I guess, your main Pokemon? Like the, the thing that you're building your team around? Because some people like to bring some wacky stuff like me. I'm definitely really big on Indeedy Thievel, which is why I'm running that right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into it though. Uh, this team is very, very Gyarados weak. They do not like Gyarados at all. They also don't like Ndidi too much. Um, if I can deal with that Incineroar, Ndidi looks really, really good. So what I'll do here is I'll lead off Dragapult and Gyarados, because it just seems solid. Uh, I'll bring the Ndidi in the back, and I think my last Pokemon... It might have to just be this Cobalion here. Cobalion looks really, really nice. Um, it's decently fast if I decide to go for that as my Dynamax Pokemon. Um, it, it's just pretty good. Yeah, it, It's just a nice Pokemon. I suppose, actually, maybe I could go Togekiss here. I think I'd prefer Cobalion just because it helps me out with the Porygon 2 matchup. I'll, I'll stick with the Cobalion. Alright, there's their Dragapult and their Porygon 2. Um, I should be able to eat any hit from this Dragapult. I don't think they're going to... Uh... I mean, they can't one-shot me. I've calc to this thing, so I'm guaranteed to live the hit from opposing a, uh, opposing Life Orb Dragapult. So I should be able to go for a... Um... Do you think they'll ally switch? I don't want to risk an ally switch is the thing. It's probably my best interest to go for the Max Phantasm in the end. So I'll Max Phantasm, and I'll just go for the Raw Taunt. And I just got a new follower on Twitch. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I also just realized that my logo is still on screen. Apologies, guys. Apologies. How do I remove that? There we go. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just taunt into that Porygon in case they decide to try to go for a... Oh, they really did just ally switch. Okay, well, I almost called it. As they trick room up. Um, that's a little bit annoying. I think I hate them. I think I really hate them. Let me max Wormwind into Dragapult here. And I'll actually go hard into the Ndidi because... Uh, the reason I'm going Ndidi here is because I don't want to have to deal with a random Thunderbolt. Or anything, really. Gyarados also doesn't do too much. Yep, there's a Thunderbolt. I max Wormwind. I'm actually slower than them, funny enough, because I am <laughs> Assault Vest. I'm a bulkier, or uh, not Assault, Assault Vest. I am, um, what's it called? The Epic item. The, um, I am Epic. <laughs> I can't speak today, I'm sorry. Let me think. Um, I am Weakness Policy is what I was trying to say. I can max Guard here. Psychic Train is up, I just decided not to show for some reason. I'll actually Mystical Fire into the Primarina here, because I should take the hit. They should want to attack into my uh, Dragapult here. I'll go for the Mystical Fire, because if they don't target into Ndidi, that's actually not a terrible play. There's a Thunderbolt. Hopefully we catch a Mystical Fire. No, we do not. Uh, I can get in the Cobalion here pretty safely. And I'll switch in my Gyarados. Also Protect here to minimize damage. Yeah, I think I hate that. I think I hate the, uh, <laughs> the ally switch. Like, I, I almost called it, but I was definitely expecting, like, them to just ally switch something else, you know? Ally switch with the Porygon, not the, uh, not the Dragapult. Alright. As they opt to double into the Cobalion, strangely enough, um, I'm gonna go hard Dragapult here. And I will just, I could double protect, I don't really earn much from that, though, I'll just, um... I could close combat into Porygon too, I suppose. They should go for a Thunderbolt into the Gyarados and probably knock out my Cobalion. Critical hit. It's quite annoying. Alright, and I did reveal Taunt. I did reveal Taunt. So I could just go for that, but I feel like they're just going to want to try to go for a KO onto my Gyarados anyways. 
with Thunderbolt, so they're probably not going to go for that. Uh, what I'll do here is I'll just... I want to taunt that thing so bad. I really do. I really want to taunt it. Let me Phantom Force. No. I have to taunt, unfortunately. I'm going to Phantom Force into Primarina. Mm, no, we'll Dragon Darts. I want, I want to see if maybe they'll go for like Dazzling Gleam or something to give my weakness policy. Nah, they just Thunderbolt. Oh well. Good game. Unfortunately, we start off with a loss today. Yeah, that was that was annoying. Uh, but that is something you're going to see a lot in Player's Cup. A lot of ally switch, so you have to be prepared for it. This team is also not very strong against Gyarados on the lead, so I'll actually lead off Gyarados once more. Uh, I, I keep feeling comfortable with the Gyarados Dragapult lead just because it's so nice. Just because it's like, it's just that nice, you know? Um... In the back, I want to bring in Didi once more. And I think this time, Cobalion isn't quite as good. I'll bring Togekiss. Just because that redirection could come in handy. Alright, Cinderace, Togekiss. I can live with that. I should just be able to max Airstream them. Uh, and what I'll actually do here, in fact, is I'll taunt into them. And I will max Airstream. Because that will prevent them from... Like, they could follow me here, but they might also just Sucker Punch. I want to go for the straight max Airstream, because if they end up going for Dazzling Gleam, like, that isn't bad at all for me. And the Taunt is just a relatively safe play, because it allows me to, um... It allows me to prevent them from going for Follow Me on subsequent turns. As I get in the Porygon 2, I can Taunt that thing in a turn here. And also because I'm... Oh, no. Okay. That's fine. I max Airstream. Get a little speed boost there. Uh, hopefully I get my my weakness policy here. Yep. Oh, they get the crit. They get the crit, unfortunately. Wow, we are not doing very well today, are we? I mean, there's not really a point in taunting this thing. Yeah, I'm just going to forfeit there. Good game, go. <laughs> Good game, dude. <laughs> Already lost. Dang it. All right. So I'm not calced to always live the crit from modest Togekiss. I believe I can live timid Togekiss crits, but not that. All right. Um... I mean, my team really discourages them to bring Rillaboom. I could go with an Ndidi lead. I could do that. But, like, still, like, these teams are so Gyarados weak. I just have to be really careful with Porygon. Um, I still like Gyarados in lead. I can't get over that lead. That lead is just too good. And I think my next Pokemon... I could do Ndidi... Gyarados, and that would cover a couple of bases, but not as much as the Dragon. I keep making the same lead. I'm sorry, guys, but it's just it's just solid versus these teams. Of course, I have lost the last two games, so what do I know? And Didi in the back, and I think I will bring uh, Cobalion to this matchup since they have no Cinderace. Okay, that's just beat up. That is, that is just a beat up uh, lead, and I did already get a minus one. So what I'll do here is I'll switch in a Cobalion. And I want to get a speed boost. I should live any hit from Terrakion, even at plus three, so they might target into the Dragapult. Uh, so I'll max Airstream into their Terrakion. Or maybe their Dragapult. I'll just do the Terrakion. I'll max Airstream the Terrakion. It can break a possible Sash, even though I'm pretty certain they're just self-beat up. If they give me a weakness policy, I'd be pretty happy with that outcome. Dynamax up. They protect. And Thunder Wave. Hello? I think I hate you, bro. <laughs> Alright. So luckily, I, I do actually have an option here versus this Dragapult. Um, I mean, my close combat's pretty threatening versus their Terrakion. What I'll do here is I will bounce into Dragapult and I'll also max Airstream to make sure I can uh, keep up the speed. As they beat up, they should be attacking into Cobalion here. I would assume they would Max Knuckle it. Yep, Max Knuckle into nothing. Max Airstream, I'm now faster. Um, this will KO the Dragapult, I believe, with the Life Orb, so I'll bounce once more. And I could switch in the Gyarados, but I think in the end, Gyarados is a little bit... I think the end game Gyarados is a little bit better. Um, what I could do is max Phantasm here, in fact. Thank you. I'll just max Phantasm, because it'll drop their defense, and I miss. Okay. 
Breaking Swipe's a bit annoying, but I do get my weakness policy, which is pretty nice. Let's see if they knock out the Cobalion. I'm hoping they go for Cobalion. Okay, they go for Dragapult. That's fine. That's fine. Let me uh, get in the Indeedy. Yeah, I'm going to get an Indeedy here because it prevents the... Um, it prevents the fake out play, and it makes my close combat into... Actually, I think Iron Head into Expanding Force will do it anyways. Uh, we'll close combat just to play it safe. Yeah, their weakness policy, interesting. Uh, but I will be faster here. I can get in the boy. Alright. So... Hopefully they don't have Thunderbolt. They're probably going to Trick Room up, is the thing. So I just want to close combat and taunt. And I'm hoping they just go for Trick Room. Okay, cool. They just forfeit there. Good game. Awesome. We won I don't know why they forfeited. Uh, I'm assuming maybe they didn't have Thunderbolt on their... Uh, they probably didn't have Thunderbolt on the Incineroar. Or not on the Incineroar, on the Porygon. Okay. So we're facing off versus an opposing hyper offense team. I think my hyper offense is just overall better than theirs though. No offense, bro, it, it just kinda is. I have to be pretty careful with that um Talon Flame. It could cause me issues. Hmm. I'll go in DD Thievel on the lead here. It just seems alright. Uh Talon Flame is gonna be super, super annoying though. I think Gyarados could be good, but it's, it's a little scary here, because um, that Rotom. I'll bring Gyarados, I think. I think I'm fine with Gyarados. I have to. I also have to be careful with this thing. This uh, Duraldon could cause me issues. And I think Cobalion is a pretty decent final option. Okay, that's actually phenomenal for me, because they can't touch anything. I think what I'll do here is I'll take full advantage of the situation. They should never expanding force. Never, ever, ever expanding force. They might just switch out, in fact. Hmm. I'll just snarl in expanding force. Yeah, they forget how their Pokemon works. Hilarious. And now they have priority on nothing. <laughs> I live every hit. Uh, I can Expanding Force the Braviary. And also go for Foul Play. I don't want to Snarl. I just want to get this damage. So we'll Foul Play the Braviary. They're probably just going to max Airstream. Foul Play does a solid chunk of damage. So does Expanding Force. In fact, that's going to two-shot the Duraldon. Alright. What I'll do here is I'll get in my Cobalion. And I should outspeed them with, uh, with Cobalion. I'll go ahead and I'll just, um, hmm. I could max Knuckle to KO, but I think I'd rather just KO them with this move. And I'll go for self beat up. Because that'll allow me to match their speed a little bit better on the Duraldon. And Max Knuckle shouldn't do too much to Cobalion as they double into me, which is really nice. Hopefully they Max Knuckle. Oh, they Max Knuckle the wrong Pokemon. They definitely just Max Knuckled the wrong Pokemon because now I'm going to outspeed that Duraldon and KO this Braviary. And I think that's game. I think that's game. Gyarados is just too scary. Yeah, we get that win. All right. I'm going to get one more. We're about 15 minutes into the video. I'll get one more. Might end up being a 20 minute video today. Ooh, okay, Sun. So Sun is actually one of those... It's Sun and Sand. Oh my god. Um, or actually, no, it's, it's just standardish Sun. Like, Tyranitar, if it doesn't have an Excadrill next to it, isn't really Sand offense, really. Okay, uh, this is a Gyarados lead 100% of the time, just because... It, look, look what Gyarados does. Wall Charizard, Intimidate Gyarados, Intimidate Tyranitar, and Scare it out. Taunt you. Uh, eat a hit from you. Taunt you. Or, eat a hit from you. Whatever. You know, you know what I mean. You already know what's going on here. Alright, um, and I think what I'll do here is I'll actually lead off Dragapult and Gyarados, because I can max airstream my own Gyarados, and then Dragapult becomes infinitely scarier. In the back, it looks like Indeedee isn't too bad of an option for cleanup, and I think my last Pokemon is gonna have to be... I want to say Togekiss, but it's... 
Uh, maybe. Maybe. I'll just bring Cobalion. Cobalion seems alright. I just have to be real careful that Charizard. Alright. Alright. Dragapult Gyarados lead versus the Charizard Torkoal. I can live with that. Yeah, I can, I can definitely live with that. Alright. They might just Burning Jealousy, which is a really, really good move on Torkoal. Um, what I could do here is... I think Max Phantasm into Waterfall isn't a bad play. I don't know why my son isn't showing up. I'm going to go for that. Okay, they just give me Dust Clops. That's great. Uh, especially since I'm not boosting any stats here. Yeah, that, that might KO. Ooh, just barely. As they yawn. A little bit scary. A little bit scary, but I think I can, I think I can live with that. What I'll do here is I will just go ahead and pick up that KO on the Dust Clops. And I think I want to get in Ndidi. Because I don't want to lose Dragapult yet. I'm still at full health and I protect on this thing. I can I can play around that. Waterfall pick up a KO here. They might just yawn me, that's fine. I still have expanding force to scare them out. Ooh, okay, all right. Let me get in Cobalion here. And I feel comfortable clicking expanding force even though there's a Tyranitar in the field. Yeah, I'll just expanding force for whatever comes in. So they protect, they could knock out my Ndidi. I don't really mind. Yep, they just knocked me out. Uh, let me get in the Gyarados here. Yeah, let's get in this Gyarados. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to taunt the Torkoal and get in Dragapult. They should not stay in here. They should definitely switch out into Charizard, I think. And they don't have Sun Boost right now, so... Or maybe I could just double into... No, I'm just going to double into the Torkoal. What am I thinking? Yeah, let me just... Check it out. Because Tyranitar isn't scary. Not with Cobalion on the field. And if they end up Dynamaxing the Tyranitar, it's not in a good spot at all. This also doesn't let uh, Charizard come in for free, because I'm pretty certain the combination of these moves will... Ca oh, wow, he just attacked. Hello? Okay, uh, I can live with that. Do you think they're in range of just a regular waterfall? I'd say so. Let's close combat. Waterfall. Ooh, he's Sash Titar. You're you're fancy, bro. You're fancy. Alright, uh, we get Drowsy, but they're in range of Dragon Darts, 100%. 100% in range of Dragon Darts. Um, I think my play here is just to... Close combat you and Dragon Darts. I have to be real careful with that, uh, with that Charizard, man. I could Phantom Force and try to protect. I would assume they target into Dragapult here. I will just close combat. Phantom Force, uh, the Torkoal. Because they're going to Dynamax. No, they just removed that. Uh, that's probably going to be game. That's probably game. Yeah, good game. GG. Let's get one more practice game today. I promise I'll play better during Players Cup, guys. Just kidding, I might not. I might play like garbage. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see what we have here. Self Aqua Jet, follow me, Sun Offense. Um, Gyarados and Toka seem really good. Hello. Gyarados and Toga seem really good here on the lead. Just covers a lot of options. Uh, I think in the back here, I will bring Ndidi. Probably Dragapult, yeah. I like that. So they go Pre-Marina Venusaur. 
Um, I'm willing to bet they just self Aqua Jet here. I think I might Dynamax my Gyarados since they have no way of lowering my attack stat. Here's what I'll do. I'll max Airstream the Venusaur. And even though they might go for um, Sleep Powder, I think I'm fine with the Follow Me. Because I don't want to risk them going into going into the boy immediately. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Resisted, though. Hello. And I believe Gyarados doesn't suffer from that because we did... Because, like, yeah, the Swamp's up, but I think we're fine. I'll just max air shooting the Venusaur again. And, uh... I could protect her. Yeah. So no, actually, that's interesting. Gyarados is affected by the swamp. I didn't know that. I thought that if you weren't touching the ground, you wouldn't be affected. So now we're at double speed. I believe the swamp quarters your speed. And they definitely brought Colossal. No, Cinderace? Okay. Um, I can live with that. He's probably going to Steel Spike is the thing. So I'll take this opportunity to remove Primarina. He should probably just Steel Spike. And I could Protect. Yeah, we'll do that. Nah, that's fine. Max Strike, okay. So he's really going for that speed... That speed stuff. As he takes out my Gyarados. Uh, a bit unfortunate here. I'm just going to Protect... And I think I want to keep Indeedee for the endgame. How long does the Swamp last? Um, t -t -t -t. I don't know how long the Swamp lasts. We'll just protect again in the attack. It's fine, we eat the hit. The moon blast. Okay, cool. The swamp is gone, and we should be faster than Primarina now. But I still don't feel comfortable, um, especially since they're max air streaming. Do you think they're fast enough at plus two? I'd assume they have a trick room mon here. So 123 times two, if they were max speed, would be much faster than me because I'm 189. I'm just going to hope that they're minimum speed. So what I'll do here is I will Phantom Force. And just try to double protect. Alright, let's see if I'm faster. Okay, I am faster. That's good. I can get in the Indeedy now. And Expanding Force and Phantom Force should do a lot. They could possibly knock out the Indeedee, but they might choke and Sucker Punch, which is always fun. I think only Pyroball could really do it. Yeah, that's game. Unfortunately, we do take a loss there. GG. So we lost quite a bit today. We lost quite a bit today, unfortunately. Uh, but I still feel pretty comfortable with this team for Players' Cup. It feels right. This team feels pretty right for Players' Cup. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll uh, finish up that team for tonight's stream. If you guys want to go ahead and uh, join me, link will be in the description for my Twitch channel. And yeah, do me a favor, leave a like if you enjoyed. I, I upload my losses, guys. I am an honest Pokemon YouTuber. I will upload my losses, man. Today we had a lot of losses, but it's all good. Have a nice night, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.